y'all doing? We out here, chilling on the spot. What up? What up? Hey, 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 everybody out there. It's the Negro Rocker Podcast coming at you. Right is right, wrong is wrong. Though. You know what I'm saying? And I noticed it at first, but I was like, okay, maybe that's just no big deal, whatever. And, and I get that part too, but you know, hey, we still call it that part. Take ownership of that shit. Go get help from it. You know, get help for that shit. And, you know, kind of correct your name. Politics and rapping, shooting the breeze, trying to holler at a thing. Hope, you know, get some, get some together for the weekend, whatever. How y'all doing? We out here, chilling in the spot. What up? It would be, it would be, it would be the volume of the conversation, though. It would be, yeah, but I'm voiceless. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we get up in there and we start doing, doing us. Just loud, niggas, just loud. Say, have fun in your podcast. Bring me on podcast. Say, I love you. I love you. What the hell is that? <laughs> is somebody going to turn out of the house? <laughs> no, what happens is if you're not if you're not gonna speak, just mute. You, you can do that. I mean, I mean, uh-huh. we're gonna go with, with the with the podcasting etiquette. I mean, if you got a mute button, you got a mute button. That's fine. Um, I don't even know. The second that thing one. we're gonna try to we're gonna try to. There's gonna be a lot of niggerty on this shit right here, and there's gonna be a lot of conversation, which is fine. Which is fine. <laughs> Just, just know that we're gonna have to reel that shit back in. We're gonna have to reel it in there sometimes, though. But everybody's gonna have an opportunity to talk and, and say their points or whatnot, all right? And like I said, welcome to the podcast, man. You know, new people. Maybe we, maybe, maybe, we, maybe we gain some. Much listeners. appreciated. I don't know what my mute, my mute button is though. I'm just gonna <laughs> put my hand over the mic. Nah, you good. You good. Just, I, right, I think so. you gotta you gotta tap on the screen and it'll bring up a menu. Oh, okay. All right, so. Yeah, Brian, Brian never used Skype. I was not giving directions. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so here we go. So we'll so we'll do one little one two three. I'll do the introduction. I'll introduce myself. Introduce uh, Frank, and then from there we'll go into like the whole who else is on the show. Uh, B's been on the show before, so uh, people know him. We'll do a slight introduction as far as uh, you, Julius, and also you, Joe. That cool? Wait, we got. Yeah. Hey, who's Julius? That's me. Okay. Did, did you not miss the part where he said he want to go by Julius? All right. So Julius. Oh, is, Julius oh nigga, you was on the phone. Dr. That's J. That's right. He was cupcaking. Right. On the phone. So, yeah. So so Julius, you're the one with the actual the camera. Um, yeah, that's me. Okay. And then Jay and then Joseph Joe. is the one with the the. the thing yeah, camera. he don't, he can't come on camera because he got warrants. That's I, right. I, feel, I hey, I feel you. <laughs> and then that's the. That nigga actually really is. That nigga really is. I'll be sure he just been in hiding for a long time. <laughs> am I gonna have? Am I have to? Am I gonna have to go like back on post production and bleep out your name every time we say it? You might have to, man. I don't know. I got. <laughs> be working. Uh, be working with children, so you never know, man. Man, there you go again. You working with children, and you got. Children I told you, in the family. I told you. That, I told you that nigga's a teacher, nigga. Come out here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you got the profile for real. Yeah, man. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So y'all ready? Uh, I'm yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Right. You I'm ready, Frank? Myself. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna. this is as ready as we're going to be, yeah. Before we all, all right. hang up on each other. Got the win, right. I want the record, nigga. Record, nigga. Record, nigga. Record, nigga. Record, nigga. What's a crime if you don't protect it, nigga? What's a name if they don't respect it, nigga? Respect it, nigga. Nah, yo, confetti ain't even heavy. We all off in the club like since on Billy. Can't even drink my liquor money on my celly. Account like you got a check, spend it when you ready. I'm giving niggas hell, pray I go to heaven. Nailing in they coffins, the cost of them being awful. Balling since I was across the winter circle, my office. Fucking off with these wins, you fucking up with this loss. Wait, I forgot my season, I'm glad you're throwing that salt. I might just throw up a toss and holler, fuck it. Cause when your wrist game, know the grip change, nigga, buckets. Motherfuck you if you feel different. I caught a break, no debate, and you still fishing. The genie at the bottom, and you still wishing. No my down foul, cause you petty. Confetti ain't even heaven, nigga. 
Hey, 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 everybody out there. It's the Negro Rocker Podcast coming at you. I am the KC Stork, one half of the I-70 Connect. I got my main man, my homeboy up in Topeka, 30 pieces of AG. What's going on, homeboy? Hey, what's going on? This is 30. Um, tired, Friday night. Sorry about last week. We didn't put an episode out last week, but hopefully we'll make it up for it this time. And we're going to try to, again, be more consistent or more inconsistently consistent with the consistent podcasting that we do. So Okay, nigga. Fuck all that shit. And, you know, uh, uh, once, a bit, once, once again, back for some abuse, got my man B. What's going on, B? Hey, what up, world? It's B. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what up, world? It's B. And we got, uh, we got two new guests on, longtime friends of mine. I got my man Joe Jeff. What's going on, man? What it is, man? What's good? All right. What's good? And I got my man Julius Joffrey. <laughs> hey, uh, get it right, nigga. What's the nigga? It's Joffrey. Julius, Joffrey. It's Julius Jafari. Uh, ain't that the nigga for coming to America? <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> I don't remember how I put it together. <laughs> Joffrey, Joffrey Joe Fair, what name his name? The King and coming to America. Yeah. K Joffrey, Joffrey Joe Fair. What is that, velvet? <laughs> right. Oh, this God. is beautiful. Too, too hot, too, too cold. Just take the soup. Just, hey. just, just call me Julius and we'll be we're good with that. Hey. hey, so we put out a warning right now. We ain't never had hey. this many motherfuckers on the show at once ever, so uh hopefully we keep it organized. <laughs> is mama call him James. Is mama call him James, I'm gonna call him James. Hey man, don't keep saying my real name, man. <laughs> I'm not calling your name, James Jefferson. I ain't going Hey no. man, hey, hey, hey. Oh. <laughs> and the FBI might be tapping this line, bro. If they're oh, ta- if they're tapping this podcast, bro, hey, we need some funds. We need some yeah, funds. I mean, we need a sponsor. I mean, we, we do got two. We do got two by the United money. States <laughs> government, all the way from San Quentin Prison. For real. And then James Black, and then and then he touched me in my penis, and I did not like it. <laughs> oh shit, though. Everybody channeling their inner CK, huh? Okay. Okay. I see. All you. right. So, hey, so before we get started, man, I guess we uh start with you, uh, Joe. Tell tell the, tell the people a little bit about yourself, who you are. I mean, if you tell them, tell them what you do, that's fine. If not, that's fine too. Just give right. us a brief description. Well, it ain't like he uh, already gave me an introduction last week where he told everybody what I do anyway, so I might as well, yeah. right? Hey, but uh, then they, <laughs> most of our fans, we heads will probably do math anyway, so they don't remember shit, nigga. Nah, every, day good, is, I, every day is Groundhog Day, these niggas. It's all good, man. I'm a, uh, I'm a teacher in Kansas City, uh, Kansas City School District. Uh, I teach history. Uh, I'm a coach. Uh, it's basketball season right now. Yeah. But, uh, my ma- main sports are track and uh, cross country. Um, just be out here working, man. Two, right. two, two girls, all that, you know what I'm saying? So, that's me. That's right. Yeah. All right. And, and on to you, uh, Julius Jafari, Jafari. He just don't mess it up on purpose. I'm doing it on purpose, nigga. <laughs> all right. He's doing you a Jafari. Don't call me, don't call me Jafari. Because <laughs> that's that nigga from Game of Thrones. I ain't like him. Hey, hey Jafari, nigga. I ain't exactly. like Jafari. Hey, nigga, don't, do not eat the cake, nigga, whatever you do. <laughs> yeah, don't drink the wine either. None of that shit, nigga. Uh, tell people about yourself, man. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Uh, you know, if you can't see, uh, right now, I'm a, uh, I'm, damn, what the, oh, my, my t- official title of my job is I'm the Lord of Televisions. The Lord of Televisions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I work in electronics. I work okay. in an electronic seller. And, like, I, I test in the, uh, in, and catalog televisions for our company, and then you know they go on Amazon and sell them, that sort of thing. So they do that, and on the weekends I'm a bail bondsman, and which is technically I'm on call right now. So at any time I might have duff, you know. But uh, you know I got one one kid that just had a kid. Oh shit! So, I mean oh, that's right. Hey, hey, salute pops. Right, right, right. Ooh. Thanks, man. So yeah, I got a I got a nice little grandbaby. She's a lot of yeah. fun. Oh, shit. Like, hollering and whatnot. I forget how old niggas is getting, dog. I be getting forty five. Yeah, nigga, I shit. I was running another day and fucking pulled my motherfucking quad, nigga. I, I was reminded how old I was. Oh, man, <laughs> I strained. 
I strained some kind of ligament in my elbow about a month ago. God that, damn, that nigga. Boy still hurt. You got to be an old nigga to hey, strain hey. ligament in your elbow, nigga. Right. Hey, right, hey, right, Roger. You see that? You see that video? Um, from the from the football game the other day, Justin Smith and uh, and Carlos. Oh, hey, hey, dog. Them <laughs> niggas pull all <laughs> crucial ligaments in their body, dog. All the ligaments in their body just exploded. Hey, Justin Smith, nigga. He just. Hey, he just lay on the ground. I know. Man, he was th- he was through. <laughs> he was I know. Uh, and my man, hey, he used to be fat as hell, but he didn't put on some pounds, nigga. I know that nigga threw, uh, blew up some muscles in his body, nigga. Man, I was trying to tell him. I called him up the other day. I was like, man, I know you popped a ham, you do. I'm so. <laughs> <laughs> bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. That's some 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 MU niggas we knew that that was we had a, they had a reunion at the, uh, in Columbia and they filmed them niggas trying to race. Just well, most people know Justin well, yeah. Smith. Justin Smith was a 49er for a long time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, my bad, our bad. So, uh, what's going on, Frank? What you want to talk about today, pimp? What's going on? Well, no, just like, um, well, first and foremost, uh, welcome back to my brother or whatnot. I know the three or four listeners that we have, they kind of love to hate him on him, too. So, And I also welcome to the new, the, the two, two new guests. Um, you know, hopefully this is not the first, and or I mean, excuse me, this is not the last time that you guys are on here. So uh, they'll be back. Yeah, it, it might be the last time. You might not want us back. Nah, you're right. I mean, if, if this shit goes, if we get ratchet, we get ratchet. I mean, we pay for okay. this shit, so it's a uh, yeah. I mean, it's 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 a free it's a free medium. What the fuck we want. So yeah. So, I mean, I got, got ki- I got I got a kid and. And so, I mean, I gotta watch my language too, but you know, not not on here. You know what I'm saying? So I got you. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, like I said, I mean, you know, welcome on. I know you know Winston was trying to get you on last weekend, and it, it didn't work out the way he wanted to. Um, I think since I don't know if you guys listened to the podcast before or whatnot, um, there's some certain topics that we like to touch up on. For the most part, we like to like kind of play it by ear, see what the what the news what what, what the News kind of puts out and see what we react to. Um, I don't necessarily react to everything else. Um, and then we also talk about, like, you know, mental health stuff and stuff like that, but kind of take care of yourself and all that. But, um, you know, but it's, it's it's whatever. I think right now I'd, I'd rather, you know, I, I don't I don't necessarily have anything to talk about, but um, but I want to see what everybody else is like, you know, especially our two, our two guests right now, um, either James or Joseph, um, see what... Uh, uh, excuse me, Jafari. Um, <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Too late. Hey, hey, nigga. Don't ever call that nigga to your trial, dog. <laughs> right. Hey. <laughs> no, but anyway, so, I mean, since you guys have been on, this is your first time. Kind of, I guess, pop your cherry, see what you want to put out there. What, the, what, what do you want the world... Or what do you want to tell the world, or what do you want the world to hear about about you, or from your from your voice, from your mouth? <laughs> I mean, damn, not hey, that. Hey, 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 you know what? Hold on. We, we, okay. We, 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 no, because these niggas, nah, these <laughs> niggas, dog. So we was talking about our little, we had our little uh, Facebook group. So we was talk, we hit on the uh, some other shit as far as the Kevin Spacey shit. And then, like, that leads into some, uh, that just leads into more of the sexual oh, stuff yeah. coming out as of late. So man, as, uh, they, man, they, it's, a, it's a new one every day. Yeah, yeah. So, as, 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 I mean, as, like, we, we know, we five men here talking about it. Uh, they, got, they got Sulu today. Who? Who? George Takai. Da! Yeah, they got uh, him today. Uh, yep. How you, how you spell it? Some, somebody back during the Star Trek days. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. He, He's, he's juggling balls without permission. Yeah, so like, like everybody digs into the whole thing as far as like, uh, especially like men in power. You know, we don't, it ain't, ain't got to be white men. Cause there's a lot of shit out Because right now, it, it, they could actually on white men. But like, there's always been things as far as like John Singleton having a casting couch. Like, you listen to the Hot Fire Starter uh, podcast. They always talk about that. 
for a long time back in the day, and it's been going back and forth. And some some things here and there about Denzel Washington. She like what? that. So I ain't never heard nothing about Denzel before. Denzel. I've been, I've been trying. Shit? I've been trying to dig it up, but it's more uh, like I don't like the shit with like. Uh, there's always rumors as far like John Singleton. Like he got like. Yeah, a I, heard some, I heard John yeah. Singleton. He got head. a cast. He got like that black couch. Nigga. Right, right. If you're a female, you want to be in the movie. Draws off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know. So what is it about our society, this society, where especially like men in power feel they have a right to to do these things as far as like when it comes to sexual assault, rape, uh, and just nigga just pull my dick out and masturbate in front of a woman. So we got five men on here. So that'd be something he's, you know, real good to chop it up about if y'all want to dig into that. I mean, I, I mean, we do, there, there yeah, are five people out here. So it's going to be, I don't know. I think I, I, I feel a certain way about, about something that you said on the last episode. Um, Winston and I, I tend to agree with with him more. Basically, what you said, and I agree with it is, so like, so you know these actors, right? They they went into Harvey Weinstein. They it was kind of like the hush hush thing. It was like uh, the 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 best kept secret in, in Hollywood that that Harvey was was this type of person, right? But people just kept going to him or or putting themselves in in, in, in those predicaments, those positions or situations. But one thing I was thinking about is like a, a statement you said is like, hey, look, these actors, they knew about this shit, but they 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 decided to stay quiet. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean from the male perspective, for, for, for like a lot, there are a lot of males who are now coming out saying, yeah, we knew this, we knew that, but we didn't think it was that bad, yada yada yada. So it's that thing where they're they're trying to excuse their. Oh yeah, because uh, which call it excuse Louis C.K. today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, so like. Yes, yeah, so when it comes like when I, I didn't mean like as far as women, the, the women go, and sometimes you find some even the males when like some of these younger males who were caught up when like when uh, we we all thought. Uh, oh, what's well, his you name? know, you know who the, uh, now you know uh, which caller came out and said he got groped, uh, Terry Crews. Well, Terry, well, Terry Crews came out like a few a few days after the he came out earlier on when uh, after the Weinstein the Weinstein he's filing, thing. Ch- he's filing charges. Well, yeah, that just came oh, out now. He's filing charges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Terry Crews is filing charges. Yeah. One of the producers it just happened like, last year. One of the producers grabbed his from his wife, from his wife, and then so that's why I was saying it's not just women, but it's a lot of like you find women, uh, children, and sometimes even like minority men who I know people say. It's scared to speak up because it's like this is my livelihood I'm and saying. I don't want to lose that check. Yeah, I mean, the, I mean, for real, like, what? How does it benefit the person really to say anything in those situations? It doesn't. It, it doesn't benefit because we, because because we all, because not we, but society always seems to to go well. You must have did something. You must have right, liked it. Right. You went. You went to their room. You went and like that shit with that with, with a wine thing. It's like this nigga had. His office was a hotel room for the most part. He had his big ass. He had his big ass office. They had a sleeping chamber and all this shit in it. Right. So it's like, and then even when they came out, you still doubt them. You still shame them. So it's like, what benefit does it give to, a, especially a woman, right. to come out? Yeah, I'll be. Come on, how many, how many women did it have to take to say, uh, talk to go out against Bill Cosby before people started actually believing it? Yeah, but but but, that, but there's still people who don't believe. I, I know, I know. Yeah. It's up in the fifties with Bill Cosby, and they still it's like still I don't know. That, dog. It's still niggas that were caught. They were caught <laughs> well, in a cell out for saying Bill Cosby touched the woman, nigga. What right. what does Chappelle say? He, he's putting up Stephen Curry numbers. Stephen <laughs> Stephen Curry numbers, dog, and it's like. <laughs> I mean, I mean, look, that came off insensitive, though, but you know what I mean? It, it, it is a comedian. No, but, but for real, though, like, every other day, nigga, it is, it, it's like, wow, okay. So it's like, first it was 10, then it was 20, then it was 30, nigga. It's like, come on, man. It, even if, nigga, you can't tell me that if 50 people say I did something, all right. that line, nigga. They all lying. All 55. Nah, nah, here's, here's, here's the thing that got me about Cosby, though. Go ahead. He was on a uh, he was on the thing. What's the dude on C uh, on CNN? Uh, King Larry. Yeah yeah, Larry yeah, yeah, King. yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't believe this shit until the motherfucker was on Larry King reminiscing oh, about. Spanish fly. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> hey, dog. Hey, hey, hey. I was like that. That that was like the one nail in the coffin. And then when that nigga tried to do that pretend I'm blind shit and ran to that door when he was going to the courthouse, <laughs> nigga. I was like, this nigga guilty as shit, dog. <laughs> now, nah, when, he, when he walked out the courthouse, I'm like, hey, hey, hey. Right, right. I'm like, oh, no, yeah. When he no, did no. that, I was like, I was like, Bill did that shit. No, no, no. That, that, no, no, no. Yeah, he did. No, when that nigga, 
When that he went he went from I'm about to buy NBC to now I'm blind. <laughs> nigga, come on, dog. Uh, Which one man. is it, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, just getting back to I guess the whole thing about because look, you you mentioned about like you know quit your job, but you know people that come to their jobs and they don't like it or whatnot. And you mentioned about like them not liking their their their, their bosses and whatnot, but yet they're not quitting their jobs. Yet we're telling people to quit their job or you know stop acting or whatever. And I was thinking about that this whole week, man, about that like you know because what what would I do? I mean, gr- granted, I already know what I'm gonna do. Like you know, if it, right? You know, you know me. Right is right, wrong is wrong, though. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I do got a livelihood that I got to protect. I mean, if it's about me, I'm, a, I'm probably going to do the right thing nine out of ten times. But because I now, I, whatever I do, whatever actions I take is going to directly affect my family. And I think, you know, when I put it in, the, in that context, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know it's an acting job, and they could, you know, they could go get another job. Just like I said, well, if you're a cop, that's not what you are. But that's you don't know if you'll get you another job. This man, this man, this man, he was like at the t- when he was no, in yeah, power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and when you go to that, when they had that report, and you went to like, all these actresses that came out who were like, they said they were up and coming, but you never heard from these women ever. A lot of these women you never heard from again. These so called up and coming actresses who declined yeah. sexual favor or who went to somebody and said something, all of a sudden they ain't on, they ain't making no movies, they ain't getting no right. script offers. Just Come like, on, you dog. know, that old phrase you hear, you'll never work in this town again. Yeah. yeah. That's a real thing. So, no, yeah, I guess that, you know, that's what I was saying. It's like, you know, when, when you know, by us saying that they, they should just quit their jobs, I think that was kind of like, that was kind of harsh. I think in the moment it was kind of like the right thing to say, but when you put it into real it's, life, it's content, not real. It's not real. It's not realistic it's in not, real life, right? And it's not a realistic and I, I'll tell you something else. You know, I mean, like when you're talking about like uh, uh, movies or entertainment that sort of thing, you talking about dream jobs. This is not the job as an accountant or you know a regular job. This is stuff that people have been wanting their whole lives, and for them to give it away and to put it all at risk, that's a that's a tough decision. Because uh, the 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 one uh, one of the women that uh, blamed uh, Louis C.K. She said it was, she was like on the set of his first show or whatever, and she's told somebody what happened, and they and the producers were like, "What well, do you want to uh, report?" It? She's like, "And be responsible for shutting the whole show down and maybe never working this in the business again." I don't think so, you know. And I get that. Yeah. Hey, so so what did you think of his apology? Did you read some of it? Yes, I, I, I. It really didn't seem like an apology. It yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It just seemed like I yeah I did it. And I and I got yeah. a prop. Yeah. And that whole and that whole thing of like I didn't realize until now that I may have been using my power. Like nigga, come on, man. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah. it was lame, you man. Know, yeah. Well, when you ask a woman, hey, can I pull my dick out and masturbate in front of you before this show kicks off? I'm telling you, most most of these apologies that are coming out are insincere because these apologies are, are prompted by getting caught and being getting put caught. on the spotlight. Yep. It's not like uh, a sincere apology usually comes, you know, of your own volition. That something that you Still are compelled by yourself yeah. to come out and say I'm I'm sorry, you, but if you have being forced into it, or you have to do it in order to protect your brand or your job or whatever, it's just it just it's not sincere, and that's the way they come off as insincere. It's it's yeah, it's damage it's damage control for sure. So so then exactly. okay okay so so taking taking that approach though James, or my bad. Go ahead. Good. You you know I said James nigga. Yeah. Goddamn. My, I'm just gonna man. Okay. So. <laughs> So it's going on that approach, because because I, I I understand that like it's a so like so for him and maybe and, and maybe for him you know like you know us regular people us regular folks that are not in in, in that in, in that world or whatnot right we, we, we not that we hold them to a different standard but like 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 I tell Winston I tell you or my brothers or whatnot hey just tell me the truth and then I'm uh and then I'll be we'll be all right. But in his in his situation, like he has a he has a stature that like ninety nine percent of the people are never gonna reach. You know what I'm saying? But like right. so so for him, I always kind of battle. And I told I, I don't know. But I I told Winston some of this stuff too. It's like before. It's like I battle with some of it too. It's like should I say something? If I'm if I'm him, should I say something? Or should I just stay quiet? Because like you know, it's kind of like a double-edged sword. If you if you don't say anything, then you, you're already guilty. You're already guilty 
because you're not saying, you know, you're not saying yes or no or, or it didn't happen or you know, one thing or the other. But if you come out and say something like Louis C.K. did, and, and, and what I'm but about to say. Come out, but, he, but he didn't come out and say anything until allegations. Right, right. And, and that's what I'm, right. I'm going to say. And, like, then, and, it, and, it, and it wasn't, and it didn't even come off like a real apology. There was no, there was nothing in that statement that said anything about real remorse. You know, or understanding of how it might affect somebody's life. I just don't think that that was there in the state. Yeah, but he do, basically said, but I'm, sorry, I'm we... sorry for pulling my dick out, and <laughs> I apologize right. if people are offended by seeing my dick. And but I used to, you know, that's the old me or something like that. You know, come on, man. You probably did last week. No, nah, I mean, I get I get that. You're right, though. It was probably damage control, and there was a PR firm right, like, you know, behind him or right next to him telling him what to say or whatnot. But I guess for me, it's like, should, should we expect them I almost feel like you know they just need to just stay not say anything until until. No, I, I I expect you not to be a fucking piece of shit. Well, I mean, come on, does that What's does that does that need to be said? It. Right, right. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean. So so basically, so, so to me, for me though, it's like after you are a piece of shit, nigga. There's nothing. There's nothing you really can. It's, you can't. You you can't. Because like, the other thing is, it's not like we, we're talking about somebody with some kind of mental defect. Or who's handicapped? Doesn't understand. It's actually talking about a very smart. Because for me to be a good comedy, a comedian, you have to be very intelligent, very smart. It, it's a it's a, a very high degree of intelligence to be a good a, be a good comedian. You can't tell yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. But yeah, it takes it takes a, a certain amount of intelligence to be a comedian, but it takes a certain bit of depravity too, man. That motherfuckers say some wild shit. Oh no, 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 no. Well, yeah, yeah, hold, yeah. Hold, 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 Hold on, hold on, what was I need, oh, let me let me look that up real quick. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I <laughs> what was that one word? That's one of, that's one of them school teacher words. Right, that's man. what I'm saying, man. Come on, man. Hey, middle school, you middle got, school. Hey, you got you got to say that Hey, hey Joe, if you can't say it in Spanish, don't say it at all, bro. You gotta say it soon. Don't say it at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's hey, some but, sick motherfucking comics. How about that? I mean no, but, but I, I agree. Like, I agree, but I only like, speak to the fact that that you can't tell me that Someone who was a very who's in a a very intelligent person had no idea that he was using his power to have influence over these women. But that's subjective though. Intelligence is subjective. Nigga, that's why this shit works. That's why it works. Why you think he knows it? No, 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 no. But I'm saying I'm, I'm just saying that. But that was he was saying like I didn't realize that I was using my power to blah blah blah. And it's like, nigga, come on. How the hell did you not know that? Right. Exactly. I don't know. These these people be self absorbed anyway, man. They they would live yeah. in their own world. They don't they don't. Interact like we do, man. So, I and, and I get that part too. But you know, hey, we still calling your podcast to the carpet. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, hey, man, you can't. You gotta have a friend. Like, hey, dog, you can't just be jacking off in front of the people. Oh, no, you know, you know, they get rid of those kind of. They, they get rid of those friends. Yeah, I know they do. But like, hey, my nigga, uh, hey, you hey, know, they hey, be keeping all them. They be keeping all the little sick offense and, and yes men around. You know, now, you can't just be putting your dick out before you go teach class. <laughs> I'll tell you. Oh, and, 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 and also, man, I know, not, I, man, I know I'm some, like, I know I'm some, like, I know some broke ass dudes that'll pull their dick out for no reason. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> I, I know you love, I know you love the so lunch lady. I'm not surprised that Louis C.K. pulled his dick out. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> you can't be trying I, to. I, 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 I ain't, made, I ain't made it happen to that yet, bro. I'm, a, I'm gonna probably stay away from that. All. Yeah, you can't just be trying to get extra, extra no. nuggets. At the in the child line, not pulling your dick out. But you also got people sending dick pics too, left and right to everybody, and, and air dropping them on people's iPhones and shit too. So. All right, man. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a dick culture. Yeah, yeah, I mean niggas, niggas, yeah, niggas are crazy, dog. That's bottom line. All right, okay. Bottom line though, in comparison to 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 Harvey Weinstein, I don't think Louis C.K. comes close to it. I think it's in the same realm, but I don't think it's it's it's. it's I mean, it's similar it's but the not same. the same, um, because. Yeah, it, it, go ahead. I, I feel like because look, he he groped himself in front of people. Harvey Weinstein actually physically attempted something. Okay, yeah, yeah. Other I mean, people. Yeah. So, Correct, but so I want to I want to separate that because I feel a certain no, way about. I, I, I don't think you should actually. I, I, I don't want to. I want to separate that because like sexual. I don't want to. I don't want to separate it. I, I think it's in the same vein mm. of, of powerful men using their power to to control and get what they want out of women. Yeah, but there's a difference. Yeah, there, there's a difference though when you when you actually assault somebody and virtually nigga, like, it, say nigga, something. It's still, it, no, nigga, no, no, no. 
if it's he's still if basketball. He's, it's, he's it's, like, it's, like, it's like saying, he, go ahead. No, no, no. If he's pinning women in corners or dragging them in bathrooms to do this, is what, you, what they said he was doing, that's that's a crime. Well, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And, and it's, it's, and it, it's, it's a yeah. sexual assault. It's a crime, and that's that's bottom line. And it, and it falls that train of thought, and people Not say, that, well, that people might be, say, that it, might it, be it a, 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 a C level sexual assault as opposed to an A level, but it's all sexual assault. Mm. That's what I'm saying. It's like to to relate to people who 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 like who who don't care about women. I guess we don't care about sports, nigga. It's basketball. It's just the D league, nigga. Well, <laughs> well, just like I just like I heard on 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 a podcast earlier today. It's like we're gonna put he put out his uh, top top uh, college football rankings of 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 rapists or or assaults. They put uh, Bill Cosby at two. They got an AP poll for that. <laughs> if, he, at this at, at, at out, this rate, it may be. They put put Bill Cosby at, at a solid number two. They put Harvey Weinstein at a three. Oh my God, is that Joe? Damn, 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 damn. Oh, well, you, oh okay, that's better. It, it looked like he was filming hey, the Blair Rich YouTube. Project, nigga. Hey, hold right. Up. I'm looking for some snot to run out his nose. <laughs> hey, man, I, I figured it out, so we good now. <laughs> we live, baby, we live. I'm so scared. Oh, no, we live. Hey, 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 I guess I, I guess I've been okay. That, that, I, I'm a I'm a uh, I'm a victim of, of all these sexual allegations that have been happening. It's like I, I've already been kind of semi numb to it. Like I'm expecting like you know actual physical contact, but then when I found out what, what Louis C.K. was actually doing, in compare I guess in comparison to the to like two three weeks ago what came out. I mean I was like, but you know. But also, but these are so these are like, these are only the the five women who came out and said something too. You realize that also. But I'm 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 gonna go with the podcaster that I listened to this morning. I'm gonna say I'm gonna believe four of them because one of them bitches is crazy. I'm gonna go with that. But eighty out of a hundred. Yeah, but you yeah, but, but you can't say five, it, four out of five dentists approved this toothpaste. So I'm gonna go with that. Nigga, it don't but it, it don't <laughs> matter if it's it don't matter if it's one out of five, nigga. You still a rapey ass motherfucker who will pull his dick out and jack off in front of a woman. And I and I think that that's yeah. what I think that's what you know, cause later on cause really, I mean honestly, cause all this shit came out what, like on Tuesday, Tuesday or late Monday, early Tuesday morning. And then I think what, yesterday afternoon Netflix had canceled his t- uh his show and his movie or whatever. Right. So I'm wondering what else is to come, because we go back to what we talked about with Kevin Spacey. You know, they went back. You know, Netflix and 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 and, and the firm that that um, that that is backing Netflix up or whatever. You know, they sent some people down to to where to where they were filming the show at, and they postponed. That's the reason why they didn't cancel the show. They postponed. Filming. They shut down production. Yeah, they, they shut. They it down. said, yeah. Netflix said we not fucking with y'all as long as Kevin Spacey is part of the right. fucking well, cards. Well, right. what led to that is because they've sent investig- their own investigators to talk to, right, right. to, the, to the to the to the staff members, and five but, more but, staffers came out saying that he did some shit. So I'm wondering what else is gonna come out out of Louis C.K. You know what I mean? Because you're right. There's only five of them that came out. Uh, who lo- who knows but, how many more how many more victims there are? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I think but it's just gonna, I think it's just gonna get any worse. It's gonna get worse for him. So, but I think we're, we're also in this, we're also in the day and age where, especially with social media, Twitter, Facebook, and all shit like that, and then like, like people like us who really who really don't have fucking PR firms or whatever. We at, we also we can go out there and get a voice. So like one of us can get on. We got you know we got a hundred friends who can get on Twitter, and they got hundred friends before we know it. We got a hashtag going saying fuck Louis C K. And that shit gets voiced. That shit gets aired. And people are getting smart now to say, you know what, we're going to separate ourselves from you right now. So that way, if it is fucked up, we can say, hey, remember, Netflix said fuck, uh, 
fuck old boy to begin with. But if everything gets cleared up and it comes out to not to be true, we can come back on the back end and say, hey, my hey my man, you know how it is. My bad. We, just, we, we just had to make sure everything was good so your money don't get fucked up and our right, money don't get right, fucked right. up. Then let's go. I mean, so I, I, I don't you think... Gotta get, you got to get ahead of situations yeah, like this. Yeah. I, I don't think Netflix and anybody is, is like this benevolent motherfucking entity that's no, like, oh, no, no. we, we care about, about women. It's always yeah. about bottom line. Yeah, for sure. profit for sure. yeah, so uh, yeah, I just want to put that out. I mean, and I hope y'all agree. I also, but I don't think it's because they, they care about women or 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 fourteen year old boys getting diddled. They just care about the bottom line, which is looking like they want to send it there. What? Yeah, damn it. What? As Morrison, it's Morrison on the background saying damage control. She don't want to be on the podcast server though. Oh, okay. <laughs> She got warrants too. I, I want to see them cakes. Oh, more, 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 more definitely got. Sh- show them more, cakes. Hold on, hold on, nigga. What say what? <laughs> <laughs> Come to your house, and burn it down, nigga, with your puppy. The, I'll get I'll get Logan out. We'll raise Logan as our own, but we're gonna burn your house down. Nigga. <laughs> nah, yeah. I don't know, man. I I just I don't know, man. Like I want to know. I, I'm curious to see what's coming up in the next month or so. Uh, uh, but I'm still I'm still wondering. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. How about you, uh, Joe? Brian, what y'all feel about it? Y'all ain't said much. Brian's the oh, youngest man, uh, cat. Did he sleep? Oh. Like he bounced, man. I don't know. Yo, Damn. yo, I'm here, man. Oh, okay. I thought he was asleep or something, man. So you're the youngest one. You're still in your mid-20s. So what do you think about these artists using their, their, their powers to manipulate women or little kids and, and molesting them? I mean... <laughs> Damn, I don't know about the kids. That's just foul. But I mean, and when it comes to adults, that's that's been going on, even with people that are not celebrities. Yep. So all that is just old news, bro. They just that man just has more like to lose than the regular average human being. That's be with the hot takes. Man, that shit's uninteresting, unimportant to me. Okay, so... But I don't... That I mean, I do feel bad saying that for the victims, of course. Don't get me wrong. Like, you know, that's another thing I, I find myself doing. So anytime we talk about this stuff... I mean, we always have to say that we're not, we're not going to victim blaming at all. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, not, I'm never going to be that person. But the more and more we talk about it, you know, I always feel like, you know, if, if, if I'm, like, listening to a, a conversation or I'll pass by and I listen to this, I always feel like if we have this conversation and I listen to it, into it, it's going to feel like if, if we're victim blaming. You know what I mean? Because no matter how you talk about it, people people on the outside are going to be like, yeah, but hold on now. You know what I mean? Like, it really does Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know the details either, though, so. so. Okay. You're right, but, but, but I... Yeah, I, I hear what you're saying, but also I think that, excuse me, change comes about because people who, not, not us per se, but people who society can, deems to be important, whether it be celebrities, sports stars, whatever the fuck, that, unfortunately, that's how a lot of this change comes about. That's how a lot of these laws come about. That's how a lot of this, a lot of this shit so that if some big, blonde, a uh, white woman who's a superstar is getting touched by some other ass white man. Now all of a sudden, Janet and HR, Janet working down at the motherfucking uh, Wonder Bread bread factory can now come out and say, "Hey, my boss is doing that." And, that, and that's how it happens. It trickles downhill. So to say that it's not important, I think, kind of you know turns a blind eye to the fact of how this shit takes, how, how society becomes more open and aware to all this shit that's happening every day, like you said, which is true. This shit's been going on since man has been able to. Put women in a women in a fucking room and make them get to work, but it doesn't really come to light until people who we deem for some odd reason to be important or a value to us, whether they, cause they entertain us or whatever the fuck, that draws attention to it, and then we can start getting some of these motherfuckers about the paint. <laughs> for real. Oh shit. Was it? Was it a sippy cup you got there? Yeah, that's my. My, my my big cup of, of cider. Uh, all right, so all right, so. But I don't. What, what about, you got anything to say about that, Joe? I mean, uh, the Kevin Spacey thing, man. I was a fan of the show. I'm, I'm still a fan of the show, and um, what just struck me about it. So you supported is, him? 
before. I think, yes, I supported Kevin Spacey before. I mean, I think everybody does. I, I, I think everybody does. Come on, man. Everybody act like. Don't act like everybody <laughs> like Kevin Spacey before now. No, I'm saying Kevin Spacey. I knew. I knew. Oh, man. That was verbal. He's guys so safe. These guys are so safe, safe, man. Come on, Come on man. Not Kaiser. Like that, he's gone. <laughs> Come on, right. man. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, Matt, but now, uh, fact, matter of fact, I, I quote, I quote a motherfucking usual, a usual, a usual suspect uh, movie today. A quote today, yeah. and I feel bad, like oh shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, but my, my bad, Joe. My bad. Go ahead, Joe. No, I, I, I'm saying, uh, watching, you know, the allegations come out, and I don't know if y'all watched the show. I just found out he ain't been acting for five years. The motherfucker, it, it, he is. The dude on the show, man. This motherfucker, this motherfucker's pushing people in front of trains, touching, you know, raping little girls and shit like this on the show. And then the motherfucker come out in real life and rape. Yeah, people. that's <laughs> why. I guess that's why he played the role so well. That nigga he was Frank outstanding in the world. He is Frank Underwood. So Damn, and, and I'm, gonna, shit, I'm gonna have to watch the crack. show now. Oh man, this is great. Oh man, he's sleep. Oh yeah, he's yeah, right. He's right. Sleep, you, ain't never, you ain't never watched House of Cards? No, I'm oh, not. Dead ass, no. Hey, yeah, yeah I, I, I never yeah, liked that guy personally, but I did like the script, you know, and maybe the script got to his head, like Joe saying. Nah, he, I mean, nah, I, nah, he been he been on that. Cause, nah, uh, that was that was nah, he did that, that back in the eighties. Yeah, that oh, was like no, nah, I don't I ain't 15, never seen that one. That was like fifteen, sixteen years ago. We did that little kid. No, 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 no. no that's that thir- that's back thirty back years ago. Nah. And yeah, third, yeah, my bad. Because the dude, because the dude he did it to is on Star Trek, the new Star Trek series right now. Yeah, yeah I, know, I know that. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't like realize that. He's like in his thirties, probably forties now. Yeah, he's yeah. Now, this yeah, happened no, like 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 89 or something like that is when that yeah, happened. But he, so he was fourteen. Yeah, Anthony Trapp, he was fourteen. He was forty-four now, yeah. and well, yeah, it yeah. happened like thirty some years ago. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Like 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 Roger was saying earlier though. <laughs> well, like, he don't Googling. I know he Googling. <laughs> what Roger said, though, what Roger said though, about Netflix, you know what I'm saying? They weren't, what I read, they weren't going to uh, cancel the show when those allegations came out. I mean, because, you know, to some extent, there might be some sort of statute of limitations. Like you said, it was like 30 years ago. Yeah. But um, but they weren't going to cancel it, and they were just going to say, this is going to be the last season. Well, I was looking at that shit, and I was like, man, this was about to be the last season anyway. They done ran out of creativity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They were about to do the worst. <laughs> Hey, dog, nah, you let's can't let's be the smartest nigga it. ever. You can't be the smartest nigga every season, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 he's doing all this shady shit and keep getting away with it. So, uh, basically, they weren't, they didn't do shit until the cast was like, hey, yeah, fuck that. That nigga came out on me, too. And yep, so, uh, it's, but the, but the, the funny shit to me was when the allegations came out, the next day they changed the icon on Netflix to make, to make sure Underwood... To Claire, yeah, it was Claire. <laughs> to Claire, I mean, when Claire Underwood became the, uh, the icon of the show, man, so... Yep, they took this picture smooth off of the promo. With, with the quicks, man, so, uh, I mean... <laughs> well, I'm... It, it was, is it is what it is. Well, that's... So, I mean, Claire, said, Claire, Claire, it said Frank so Claire, Claire Underwood for president? Well, Claire right. Underwood... And, and, and it, it was Claire and Underwood for president, and the, and, the, and the caption below that said Frank who? Yeah, because... Oh. Yeah, because they... But, I like... Think, but like <laughs> If you watch the show, and I don't want I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but you know I, I watch I watch the show. Spoiler alert, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it, uh, it it came out at the right time, like it was playing, because I mean it was right uh, in the power struggle between him and her. So we're gonna go and, with this conspiracy shit now? I'm telling you, man. Hey, man. Uh, I, I don't. The I, don't know. Just, I, man, think, I, I think I think they gonna have. Ago, man. I think they gonna have him get assassinated like first episode. He yeah, gonna but have but, to die. He gotta die. But, so yeah, but he's gonna have to do it. But it's never conspiracy though, because even like you look at the Weinstein thing, he was he was falling. I mean, that whole little company was falling out of power. He was falling out of power in the company. They were getting tired of having the motherfucking put his put his bill for every time somebody you know bought an allegation up and they had to pay hush money to him. It just uh, so conveniently happened that oh now all of a sudden all these allegations come out. It's like it's never conspiracy. It's like motherfuckers get tired of having to pay for your shit. Whenever you cost the company more money than they making. That's when some shit gonna come out on your ass, nigga. Yeah, I don't know. You know, uh, somebody. I, oh man, I can't. It was one of the political talk shows I saw, and they were saying that it's a, a big push is also coming from uh, from insurance companies. Yeah, the insurance companies are getting tired of doing these payouts. Yeah. So they are pushing for for HR departments to do their jobs. You know, 
and to prevent these things. Cash through everything on the one side and wins through everything on the other side, motherfucker. Right. You know, so you know, so shit, man. It, it, yeah, yeah, nigga. The people won't put like, like, like these people. Oh, I'm so glad these people. This couple. God damn it, woman. I'm gonna put your ass on camera. <laughs> I said, don't run away. Put some pants. Put some pants on, woman. <laughs> anyway, so. So anyway, so like it's like yeah, people want to believe these these, these big ass companies are so focus. benevolent. Focus, huh? focus. I'm a, I'm focus. always focused. I'm always focused. Yeah. On on what? Yeah, like, <laughs> right. That, that's, that's that's the key. That's the key question. That's a good question, Joe. He didn't specify. Right. <laughs> you like George Bush like a, right now? You like George? Like an old, huh? like an old black man that would say, "On what though, nigga?" <laughs> I know you focus, but on what? What, right. what the clock say? What the clock say, nigga? What the clock say? All right, so, mm-hmm. okay, so I want to get everybody's feel- feelings about, okay, so, all right, so all these allegations are already out on, on the table. You already know about this shit, right? So what do we do? How do we feel going forward? You know, hey, wh- hold on, hold on, hold on, Frank. And also for all I guess, if y'all, y'all got to go take care of shit, if y'all got to tap out, just let us know. It's all good. Go ahead, move forward. I mean, don't give them the easy out, though. You know what I mean? Fuck. But no, nah, nigga, I know that niggas got jobs and kids and shit like that. I get it. But anyway, so like, okay, so how do you personally feel about anybody that, like, like anybody that's doing it now, right? Because cause, cause let's say Harvey Weinstein, Louis C.K., all these fools, Kevin Spacey, Brian Cranston, uh, Cranston, all them motherfuckers, right? They came out, so, and you and we feel a certain way about it now, so what about anybody that's doing it from this morning to I don't know going forward? How, you know, nobody, when, when they come out, like, so how how, no, how how do ain't we, nobody gonna stop though? That's what I'm saying though. But like, how do we feel about that though? I mean, I, I I tend to feel like, hey, if anybody comes out after this point, you know, it's I feel I feel. What do you mean if anyone comes out like comes out against them or? No, I'm saying like if anybody else that comes out with like more allegations or, so, or somebody new coming out with allegations, but yet they've been they've been quiet for like the last three four three four weeks and shit, you know, just kind of because there's a lot you know there's a lot of people out there right now that are be like okay hey you know what I remember I had some shit going on, but I'm gonna stay hush hush see if I you know kind of ride the wave see if it, you know if it goes away. But it's shit sometimes always resurfaces, like surfaces back I mean, up. You know what I mean? But it, 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 if if it's true, I, I just feel like I'm always the just, same way. I just yeah. feel like there, there's no there's no more leniency past this point, though. Like I, like, I mean, I feel uh, like, I, hear, I think I see what you're saying. Yeah, no, I think it should have been like that from the beginning. There shouldn't have been any tolerance for this sort of thing from jump. That's true. That's you true. know, you know, it, it, if you know if you're uh, assaulting or harassing that sort of thing. You should have been exposed and 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 and, hey, and felt the consequences from the very beginning. And I still feel the same way. You know, I just feel like there's a better chance for it to happen now than it was before. You mean for the ex- like for some, be, be for some, for some actual real consequences to come about right, for right. some of these these powerful people? I think there's some real consequences that can will actually come down now. Whereas before now, I feel like most of the time they did not. Yeah, and and, and don't and don't forget, people are still people, women and men are still out there saying that. Well, they waited all this time. Uh, they must be doing it for oh. a reason. Doubt, 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 doubt. So, I mean, I, I, I hope people still keep coming out. I mean, so we can like just shame if if you a rapey motherfucker, just shame your ass so you ain't a rapey motherfucker no more, or you get your ass up out the paint. Cause I, I don't, I don't. Cause my daughter wants to be. My daughter wants to go into a field where she gonna be. Like one of the few black women, I mean, as far as a doctor, and I don't want her around no rapey <laughs> motherfuckers because I would come burn down the whole university, the whole medical school, whoever else I got to burn down, dog. I don't want to be that angry black motherfucker that Fox News is talking about. Uh, here is Roger Winston, the angry nigger. Uh, you see some of his uh, Facebook posts, you see his tweets. He's anti government. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to like bleep that out later on, but uh, okay. What? You said, you said, said it, we said it with a hard ER, dog. I'm I'm a nigga. I can say nigger, <laughs> nigga, uh, nigga Rachi, uh, nigga tree, nigga n- gardly. I can say all of it. I'm a nigga. So I can say whatever the fuck I want. And those fools only reply to white people. Nigga Thomas. That is it. Oh. Hey, 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 white people at the cookout, niggas say nigger, nigga, all kind of variations of niggas. I get thrown, Negroes, color folk. We say colored. 
Oh, uh, don't shit. forget, and don't uh, never forget, Nigglet. That's for the little ones. Little Nigglets, you little Nigglets need to get in line. <laughs> <laughs> it all gets said, dog. I, 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 I know, I know somewhere. <laughs> I know there's a one on uh, one racist white listener listening somewhere. Like I knew these motherfuckers <laughs> said nigger. I knew it. You can't say it. I mean, you can't. Now, you now he's gonna be able to say, yeah. You know what? I know five. Oh. I know. I know four niggers. Hold on. 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 I, no. Hold on. I, I said the wrong thing. You can say it. And you can also get your ass whooped. <laughs> well, I was like, say it. You can <laughs> say it. Go ahead and say it. Yeah, I, I still remember. Hey, I know we're coming up to Thanksgiving. Uh, right now, here in a couple of weeks, I still remember that Thanksgiving at your fan at your mom's house. Though when I came, and your uncle, as your uncle, my uncle, yeah, man, my uncle, my uncle. <laughs> and he asked me where I was from, and I said Nicaragua. He's like, <laughs> he's said, you like, a nigga? What? You a nigga? Nigga? What? Nigga? Nigga? What? Frank, I was, I was, I was, I was in eighth grade. I was in eighth grade, and we were from Napa, Africa. <laughs> Oh, you talking about Nigeria, <laughs> nigga? <laughs> my, my, my oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And that, and that damn story, nigga, real. <laughs> nigga, real. Nigga, oh, Nigeria. Nigga, real. Nigga, nigga real. <laughs> nah, that's not nigga, real. That's not. No, nah, that's, 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 that's a show like a, name. That's, nah, that's an episode name right now, dog. Is that like, is that like, is that like diarrhea? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Black people. That like black. That sound like black. That sound like black. That sound like that. That nigga That sound like the outcome of the of the Tuskegee experiment. That's like the outcome of the Tuskegee experiment. You got niggeria. Oh, it's a new, it's a new form of sexually transmitted disease. It only affects niggas. Niggeria. That's the black. And that's the black margarita and the niggerita. Right, right. But anyway, yeah, man. Like, all right. So, like, you're right, though. I mean, like, I feel a certain way. And like, anybody, I think people I should know, be bro. exposed right now. You know what I'm saying? As it happens, you know what I mean. I mean, not as it happens, but like, you know, hopefully before it happens, or bef- you know, to prevent any other future ones coming up. So you're right. I mean, that's how I feel. I mean, and I and, and I have no fuck. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to think about like somebody that I really like. You know what I'm saying? Um, like Jay Z, if he raped somebody ever, you know, I might feel a certain way about him too. You know what I mean? Like, so. But, but yeah, that's gonna be the real test though. When when niggas, when niggas, if niggas find out they they favorites is out here raping and, and, and touching on women, Man, and I'm telling you, is, like you, like that's why I was like when you said Denzel, I was like what? Yeah, yeah. hold on, I Denzel mean, got that, charged, bro. No, it's like rumors. It's rumors nah, that he's doing shit. If it's on the if, if it's they on the come internet, out, if it's they true. come out on, on Denzel, I mean, you talking about just hey, this black hey. community being on fire? Hey, that nigga, might start hey, riots. Hey, niggas thought R. Kelly was bad. Wait till you find out Denzel was out there doing mm. some shit, nigga. Right. Twitter might, Twitter and Facebook might fucking shut down, nigga. It will. Now I'm telling you, it's gonna start. It'll be like the Watts riots all over again. They'll be in the streets. Tearing up shit. If Denzel, 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 and, and don't let it be no white woman. Oh no, oh, hell no. Look at, look at Joe's face, nigga. <laughs> that nigga nah, hey, I think, right hey, I think, Nah, I think you make that uh, make that shit up on Denzel, dog. Because because Google is like nah. nah, bro. Any type of search I put nah. in there, they're like nah. Any type put of in John, combination. Put, put, in, put in put in John Singleton. Oh shit, hold on. But don't nobody really like John Singleton that much. I know, but I'm saying though, he he. He messed up when he made Baby Boy for me. That was Uh-oh. it. I was hey, pretty much done. Baby Boy might be the funniest serious comedy ever, dog. The joke, hey, that nigga James fell off, dog. Damn. Yeah. He's, trying, he's, tra- tra- he's trying to reconnect. Yeah, I see him. He's trying to reconnect, but nah, I, I don't know. I, I'm not seeing anything about John John Singleton. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't out there, dog. It's on the nigga webs. Nigga webs is not part oh, of it. Or is it on the black web? Yeah, on my black no. web. Is it on the, look, it, on the dark got... web? On the dark web? <laughs> no. Nah, first of like all, you... It's the nigga net. <laughs> nigga net. First of all, you got you to gotta disconnect from your high speed. Uh, uh, load up your oh. AOL. You got you to gotta be AOL disc in the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, never mind, dog. We just found the, 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 the other name of the episode, nigga net. 
<laughs> hey, you can't do that because iTunes ain't going to let you put nigga net up. No, they will. They, they haven't, blo- bro, they haven't blocked our shit up yet, man. We ain't never put nigga nothing yet. Dog, we put. Black Africans, not nigga net, dog. So hold up. Let's go, let's go through the title name, dog, because we've. We've had some controversial shit on there, dog. Trust me, dog. I tried. Well, we, ain't, we ain't never had no nigga net. Well, we'll find what we'll, we'll, shit we'll find out. Look, okay. So, recap episode one. All right. So, we got the origins. We the best. Shot, shot of Smirnoff Ice. You killed Tupac. Sack of Crown. <laughs> sack of Crown now, Royal. This, this is a dude I used to work with that got fired, man. He was a medic out in Las Vegas. This nigga swear to God. That he he worked on Tupac when he got shot, dog. No, he did. Nigga, I said he, he got mad at me. I said you the reason why Tupac dead. Yeah. And then we got we got sack of sack of Crown Royal. The, Crown Royal. The hiker and the Crown Royal sack. So that's yeah. We got the Freedom Cables. That was good. That was good though. The Freedom Cables. Freedom Cables. Yes. Yeah. Nigga, we, got, we have nothing close. You ain't got to say them all. Just I mean, look we at got orange, oranges and bananas. I mean, the damn. No, that's not nigga. That's nothing. Nigga, first of all, find me a title that said nigga something in it. You ain't got to read all of them. Just find one. Nah, you're right. We don't have one. I, didn't, I know we the don't. The closest thing we had was Flying Asians and McCain's. I think that was, like, the closest thing, though. Asians is not a derogatory term. Hey, it depends on who you talk to, though. Hey, you said Flying Chinks or something yes. like that. <laughs> yeah, you would have said... <laughs> God damn. Oh, <laughs> Fuck, fucking Chinaman. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. That's all. Hey, you think it's the Chinaman? Hey, so when I was when I was, when I was in... <laughs> hey, hold up, though. Hold up, though. When I was in Rada, I used to work at this ISL house, and they had this black, they had this black dude, and I don't know which one of these racist white dudes told him that it was Chinaman was cool, was like whenever, whenever he wanted to go to, the, they had a Chinese buffet. So whenever he would save his little money up, it's like every two weeks he saved his money up enough to go over to the buffet. He'd be like, and he was a black dude too. He'd be like, I want to go to the Chinaman. And I'm like, hey, what's up, man, you can't, that's not right. Nah. Hey, hey, real talk. Cats from St. Louis still say that. Mm-mm. Hey, dog, I was now like, and like, I forget, like, somebody I work with said, What's wrong with that? I'm like, Motherfucker, you can't say Chinaman. That is right. racist as shit. <laughs> but of course, I was in Rhonda, Missouri, so, yeah. Right. Okay. There's that. Mm-hmm. There's that. Like he made it out of there. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Hey, it, it was a couple times, motherfuckers, like, it was really like, I was walking home. They was like, Nigga, go home. I was like, But I am. <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm going home. Just not the home you think I would need to go to. So All right. uh, down there, in Red State Central, boy. Red Ooh. State Central, dog. Oh, I used to hate. Uh, oh, I was so happy I left that motherfucker. No, I didn't tell you. I I think we were recording on one of the episodes, bro. Hey, did your did your brother your brother hang up? Yeah, he had to go, dog. He, he's got to get up at like he's got to be at work at three in the morning. To do what? He works with my other brother. He cleans the he cleans the what's that shit called? Academy Sports out there. Mm. Um, no, okay. You know, you know. Okay, so one of my brothers is a regional manager for a cleaning company, and so my brother Brian, the one that was on, he was he's the youngest one, but and I'm the oldest one, and then the one before it is the middle one. But Brian is the one that he's he's been through it all, seen it all, and and he's he's learned it all. You know what I mean? And we're like, dog, you you ain't even been through shit yet. Anyhow, that's how it, that's how you growing up. It, it's funny how he's finally like growing up. Now he's got a, like a st- uh, more of a steady job and shit, and uh, so he has to get up in the morning. So he has like a little bit of responsibility. I always give him shit about that shit though. So, but anyway, so yeah, no, I told you about my sister, man. She when she was coming up here and she went on, she was coming from Jackson, Mississippi, um, and she told you take we take fifty five north, and then uh, uh, when we get to St. Louis, we we just get on seventy. You know what I mean? Or two seventy or whatever to get on seventy. But she tried to take that like the the in between roads to go to go diagonally through 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 Missouri and shit, and it was at nighttime. I told her like, nah, man, you need to turn back around, get on fifty five, and 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 because and, and, she was like about an hour away from fifty five, so she was He's driving like, down the boot hill and all nah, that. Yeah, yeah, she was. Uh, so I told her like, hey, I don't yeah, know nah, where you're at. Do 
I told nigga, her that, get nigga clan country nigga. Nah, especially after, after you told me about that shit. That was the, that was the, uh, during the, that the, the time that you uh like you were coming back. You were back and forth in Rolla and shit. And yeah. and yeah, you were telling me I didn't know it. I didn't know that the clan shit came. You know the 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 the, the fucking not. I don't know who was the creator, or the father, or the main grandmaster, whatever the fuck. He was living in fucking Missouri. Though. I didn't know that shit. The grand, the grand, I, I, I grand, grand wizard, nigga. I don't know what the fuck. I, I don't he know said the grandfather, nigga. Grandfather, the. I, I don't know what it, I don't know. I don't know what it was. Uh, the the leader of of of, of the the KKK. Yeah, yeah, grand, it, grand anything, mid, anything mid mo. Yeah. South nigga is is all bad, nigga. Nah, and remember, remember, uh, uh Caleb Niehaus. He would always yeah. tell me like, nah, don't, 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 don't stop. If you don't, if you don't have to stop, especially yeah, if it was that yeah. Boone County or whatever the hell. Yeah, he was because oh, he was. Yeah. Yo, Joe, uh, Joe Jeff know about Boone, Boone County, nigga. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, they, uh, I, I just had a uh, on Facebook. Uh, you know how memories pop up on Facebook. They, it's like yeah. I guess it's the two year anniversary of when the uh, the professor was trying to uh, to to manhandle the reporter. that was trying to uh, check in on a dude that's starving himself. Yeah, because they were smearing shit on the wall, talking about <laughs> shit swastikas <laughs> on the bottom. <laughs> hey, dog. Nah, hey, that shit was shit, man. Niggas used to have so many jokes about like, hey, from Columbia, like thirty miles out, nigga, just ride, nigga, don't stop for nothing. Mm-hmm. Just, nigga, that's that's nigga, boom. But even then, though, you still like in it's, you still like in Hicksville. But Boone, yeah, Boone County, dog, man, like they, yeah. they, they pull niggas over trying to find anything, nigga. Nah, that's nah, not, man. Boone County, Boonesville, all that. Yeah, you don't want yeah. to I mean, I got, I got pulled over one time. I got, I got a, I got a Boonville uh, police story. So <laughs> I, I was, I, I was at my friend's house, right? And so, uh, describe, I left describe about, this friend. So it was, uh, <laughs> my dude from college, you know, okay. what I'm saying we had a little rap group where, right? you know, whatever. And so, uh, he had a rap he's group. The one who's, Little rap yeah. group, you know what I'm like, saying? So, like, like lyrics, like bars, albums. man. You know, bars. They had an album. Yeah, yeah. We got, hey, we got, hey, you got to send me that shit <laughs> so we can play it on the podcast next time, nigga. I, I, I see it. It's on YouTube. I sing a little song. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, anyway, so uh, I was coming from his house. It's like one in the morning or something like that. And you know, I was I was coming out a little slow because I did have a little something before I left, but I was cool. And I and I pull out onto the road. So I'm driving, and this car comes barreling down. It's it's like super dark. This thing's going about 60 miles down an hour down 35 hour you know mile per hour road. And so it gets up to me, and then just starts tailgating. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Police, man. <laughs> Nigga, so so you know you go under a, a lamp, and you see that is the police behind you. So you start, okay, fine, let me be on my shit. I got my hands attended too, but I'm strapped up in my seatbelt, I'm good. And so I drive for about a mile and this thing is just tailgating me. And to the point where uh, I get to a spot where they finally, you know, turn the lights on and hit me up, you know what I'm saying? And so I'm like, so now I'm pissed off. I'm like, what the fuck? Y'all ran down this street at 60 miles an hour, and you got me pulled over here. And I'm doing like 10 under the speed limit. They said you, they said you moved outside the line, like you were driving. Right <laughs> uh-huh. like, nigga, nigga, I was. That's I what was he was like, waiting on. Shit, I was like, shit, it's fucking, you know, what I'm saying two o'clock in the morning, and motherfuckers <laughs> barreling down on me. What the? I'm scared out my fucking mind. What the fuck you think I'm doing? It's uh, so, so then, so then, uh, this woman was out here in front of the car just talking this shit and telling me to turn down the radio. I was like, bitch, I ain't turned down the radio because I was doing just fine driving down this motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, the, the volume was fine when I was driving. Y'all put me over over this bullshit. I ain't turning down shit. You know what I'm saying? And so, and so then I started pulling out the race car. I was like, man, you saw these alpha plates in the back. Ah, uh, <laughs> I, know, I know you had that. Nigga, they thought you, they probably thought you was in the gang, nigga. Uh, it's like, how, how how are we supposed to know? How are we supposed to know you a black man just based on some alpha places? So I was like, motherfucker, you are a police officer in the college town. You can't get yeah, tell me. Who, 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 right. You don't know what a fucking alpha plate is. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Nah, man. Nah, man. That's that shit's always been off the chain, man. So, nah, Boonville, they 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 crazy, man. Not Boonville, but uh, Boone County. You know what I'm saying? Boone County, Boonville, yeah, Boonville, Boone County. Boonville, Boone County. 
Hey, now yeah, that's a uh, shit. We well, we didn't get. I ain't get fucked with like that. But I know you remember Big AC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. this nigga uh, was driving me home. Uh, he dropped me home from Columbia uh, one time. Cause that's back. He was anyway. That's a long time ago. He he married now. He happy. Anyway, so we going back Kansas. Go back Kansas City. This this nigga had his little Ford Fiesta dog. So you imagine this big three hundred pound nigga, mm-hmm. my big two hundred and forty pound ass, and this motherfucking little Ford <laughs> Fiesta ass <laughs> car dog. <laughs> and that what I think, up. Yeah, I think what it was like we was trying to pass the car, but we. <laughs> We so heavy this motherfucking car, we couldn't get past these niggas on the deal. So the police come, they behind us, they get mad, they pull us over, dog. And like, it wasn't as bad as your shit, though. But all I remember is this nigga pulled us over, dog. And like, I think he looked in the window and saw this big nigga in my big ass and just started laughing and was like, hey, stay out the left lane. <laughs> like, have a good day, nigga. <laughs> That was just more just good advice. <laughs> yeah. I, I, was just, I think he kind of was trying to help you out, I think. Hey, no, uh, I, I think he was mad, niggas. He was trying to get somewhere. And I think that nigga was ready to write a ticket. He looking there, saw AC's big ass and my ass. And was like, I get it. This There's no way this car should be moving down the highway right now, nigga. He's like, nigga, okay. that's that- that's, that's 500 pounds a nigga, dog. 500 pounds a nigga. I see tell one of y'all, I said, when y'all got to get out and walk? Y'all both can't be in this car. That's a violation. 500 pounds a nigga in a 400 pound car, dog. Right. <laughs> he looked at the car. I should car. bring you in just for that. <laughs> hey, dog, he was, nigga, hey, nigga, that's the show title right there. 500 pounds a nigga. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm okay hey, with that one. I, I wish I had a camera for how you know how you wrote that window down. They put both hands in the car to look in to see if y'all niggas got drugs or something in the car. Nah, they be trying to smell. Nigga, he looked at, nigga, he looked at the AC looked at me and he was like, "Gentlemen, stay out of the left lane, nigga. Have a good day, nigga." And just went back uh-huh. to his car. <laughs> Shout out to AC, man. <laughs> Shout out to AC, dog. Cause nigga, we was uh, nigga. That nigga had that nigga had his pedal. That nigga, he was pushing that pedal into the engine, nigga, trying to pass. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. Man. That nigga was calling on the horses from other cars trying to climb up that hill, nigga. <laughs> and where are we at? We. <laughs> Yeah. What are we talking about when we got here? <laughs> hey, I, this is a common theme of the podcast. Uh, <laughs> Bro, you, you don't know how many times I've taken, like, I have show notes and I share them with these fools. Right. And we ain't never, ain't even talked about none of the topics. Bro, we right, had a whole, we ep- we had a whole yeah, we had a whole episode about potty training and what potty, and what the definition of potty training was for like two and yeah, a half hours, that. bro. Like, wow. we ain't even touched none of the topics that we wanted to touch. Yeah, yo, y'all was on that one. I remember that. I heard that one. <laughs> but, yeah. Hold on, so we, we can, we can, uh... Nah, that's all right, though. I'm enjoying this. Reminisce, bro. Reminisce. Nah. I don't want to... I'm, it, it gets sad, dog. I'll be, be thinking about Eva J's and... <laughs> oh, man. Motherfuckers <laughs> staying... Niggas coming in there breakfast and staying there till lunch. So they ain't got to pay. They ain't got to pay for two meals, nigga. Nah, man. <laughs> nah, nah. But but hold on, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you remember? You remember how Eva J? Like it was like the black section. Like most white people used to ask if they could sit down. <laughs> like, hey, dog. They, hey, th- this was the first time in recorded history we had white folks sitting in the back. Provide some background to this. Come on now. So Eva J was like so on campus. It was like it was like three or like we had Perkins, had Eva J's. What was the other little spot where uh, niggas eat? Rollins. Uh, so these are all cafeterias that are co-located, like either co-located inside uh, dormitories or next to the dormitories. So right. the spot Wait, Eva J's dining yeah. halls. Yeah, dining, dining halls. Yeah. My bad. Yeah, my bad. Thank you, James. I made it complicated. <laughs> so like, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> James, James always. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, hey, he, he's hey, trying to make clarity. I'm gonna call you quick hitter, cause you quick with him. There it is. That's, that's hey, a- always. So like, <laughs> it's like, and like, so like, even James was like, like, mainly like in the middle of campus, or down the street from the motherfucking like student center. So it was a middle spot. I always had a decent breakfast. 
So like if a nigga didn't have like no no classes that day and nothing, niggas would just go in there like breakfast time, get a little breakfast, sit, drink coffee till twelve o'clock and eat lunch, nigga. But niggas be in there politicking, rapping, <laughs> shooting the breeze, trying to holler at a dame, hope you know, get some get something together for the weekend, whatever you, you know what niggas do. But like niggas would like always post up like in the front part, like in the front area, just nigga tables together, niggas there, and like it wasn't no thing where we were like bully and say so sit here, but of course like white people see all these niggas and they get scared. Nah, 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 nah. It would be the volume of the conversations though. It would be, but, but, yeah, it, it but would be boisterous. You know what I'm saying? We we, we get up in there and just, we just start just, doing doing niggas us. Just loud. Niggas just loud. I'm, I'm saying we, we never we never said no white man, you can't sit here. We just loud and white people be like, niggas. Didn't, they didn't want to sit by you. <laughs> No, no, they be like looking like they want to put their tray down. Like we want to be a part of it. We care, dude. Oh. They, yeah, nah, they be, nah, cause the conversations would be funny as hell. And so they be oh, looking they be like, dying. Man, I, they be caught, they be coming over. Like, yeah, can I get in on it? But nah, they, this this is a black section, so you gotta keep on moving. <laughs> back, you know? So you, so you weren't really like inclusive, but you weren't, but you weren't exclusive. like nah, so we weren't exclusive, there. but you weren't nah, necessarily really inclusive. It, it's one of the things like I don't know Frank if you at your high school if you had thing was like I always at a black high oh, school. Oh, this was a high school. That, college, no, no, no. college. No, I'm okay. saying college. This is college. I'm saying, but at a black high school where I wherever I went like high school at, there was a table where if you sat down, niggas was joning, cracking jokes. Mm-hmm. So if you sat yeah. down, don't, it's don't all. bring, don't it's bring all. your feelings. You can't get mad if you sit down. You are gonna get cracked on. Uh, in high so school, that, in that, high school we had, we were playing we were rolling dice. At our table, bro. What that? What that? What that? At like, that dice table, nigga. So you don't sit down because you're ready to roll dice. dice. What you mean, East yeah. Side High? Nah, bro. We, we, like, <laughs> like, I shit you. I, look, okay, go, I'll let you finish that shit. I'll let you finish this. Bro, I swear to God, look. Get raised in the beat, no boy. Yeah. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, look. I, I swear to God. Bar the door. So when hey, I went look. to Ruskin High, I went to Ruskin High School. Niggas had a table where if you sat down. Nigga, you be prepared to catch these jokes. So basically, that's how it was. Even James was like, there's this little section. We rapping. We talking shit. We talking about the game. We talking about women. We talking about niggas. We talking about everything. Yeah. If you sit down, don't be in your feelings, nigga. That's basically what we were saying. Yeah, you're going to get Crack cracked down. on. You're going to get cracked on, and it's like, yeah. I mean, well, you're going to get cracked on, and don't, and so much, and then, but now in hindsight, to say don't get offended by the topic of discussion, it's kind of like, it makes me sound like uh, uh, a light skinned version of Louis C.K., nigga, but. <laughs> Yeah, Basically. but we—I mean, we were—we weren't—we weren't, we weren't like threatening nobody, no sexual assault and shit like that. But niggas it's just got. Crime, but but it, no, but it be women there too who be just just as bad as us, nigga. No, I feel you. Hey, no, hey, 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 no. One of the one of the conversations that happened in there that was that stuck out in my mind the most. Fuck that two of them. <laughs> Y'all, you you remember the uh, the pimp of the year award? <laughs> 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 We, we, was, All right. we, we was over there talking about who just did whatever girl the most scandalous shit that mm. year. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 do we want to talk about that right now, or should we just wait until I mean, I'm, until, until, I'm until just, all I'm, the, the room is clear? And I'm not talking about huh. this room. I'm talking about other rooms. You know what I mean? I feel it. I'm, I'm just saying, I don't want to go into the details of what nobody did. I'm mm. just saying, those, those are the conversations we had. You know what I'm saying? So we over here talking about shame on you, Louis C.K. <laughs> we was in there talking about... <laughs> Hey, dog. We talking niggas, dirty about hey, motherfuckers, man. And niggas was, so the other one, the other one, the other one, real quick, was a, a dude. I ain't going to name his name because this shit was... He got this, he got into some Louis C.K. kind of shit after the fact, you know what I'm saying? You, you mean you mean like a hypothetical that happened? No, I mean like, no, like, like what a, hypothetical. Actually, no, actually, this motherfucker. What what, what I'm like, saying is, in, in a hypothetical world, this hypothetically happened. In case this audio happens to make it somewhere hypothetically somewhere else. No, I, fuck I, I ain't speaking. I ain't. No, this shit happened. I, <laughs> I, I, he said no names, nigga. But I ain't speaking on names. I ain't speaking on names. Y'all name. saw that fucking red stop sign. It happened. Yeah, fuck the stop <laughs> sign. Right. I did run that. He ran that light. Running that. Nah, this motherfucker. Hold on, hold on. He told a joke though, right? This is my dude too. He, he, he told. I ain't talked to him in about twenty years, but this, he was my dude back then. He was any, like, any uh, more details? <laughs> no, nah, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the joke. I'm gonna tell you the joke. So uh, he was like, he was. We were talking about girls and shit, and this nigga was like, 
Hey, man, I like him young, bro. What are you talking about? He's like, what are you talking about? He said, man, if it's grass on the field, play ball. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I was like, just think. So, so we can't act like we was holier than now. Nah, yeah. Back to, hey. <laughs> niggas was back there talking some wild mess. But bro. niggas, but, but I'm saying, but niggas was like 18, 19. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, no doubt. Don't make it any better. No, I say make it. I, I say, say make it better though, but you, but you can't. Yeah, but that's why. But that's why I say niggas. Oh, you look back, and I be like, God, like I, I tell you all the time. Hey, hey, nigga, nigga was, hey, nigga was a savage dog. Niggas was savage. You know, I, yeah. I mean, you know, truth be told, you know, I remember, you know, at, at a few parties, you know, you know, my hands probably oh, went where places they shouldn't have went. You know, you know, there's nobody press no charges, you know, but you know. You go, but you go up and you be like, God. Yeah, damn, now looking back wrong. on it now, I would never do any of the stuff now that I was doing in college. And, and like now, like with that knowledge, like with my sons, I'd be like, hey, man, what the fuck you doing? I'm not. Nah, I'm be looking at her like that. Don't be talking to her like that. Don't be touching right, her. Right, right, right. In your, in your yeah. ass. And your ass better not be touching nobody when we at the motherfucking school, nigga. I'm coming to fuck you up first. <laughs> right. And it's a different and it's a different world now. You know, everything can be exposed so quickly. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you'll go down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember like um, no, my but oldest hold on, boy. But, but, but hold on, hold on. Let's go back to this EBJ table. Come on now, and we got serious a little bit. We got we got yeah. time for seriousness. Let's go back to this to this joke. Oh, the joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. You know what I mean? It was a no, but here's it, the, was a it, joke, it was a joke. It was a joke. It, 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 it's but still a joke. Was like, come on. At, no, at the time, no, no, no. At the time, time it was a joke. Oh, you had to win uh, and make the joke happen. Hmm. I don't know. Mm. Okay. I, I, I ain't awesome. speaking no more. I, I don't know. All maybe. Right, right. Awesome. Uh, uh, maybe. I'm just, maybe. Like like my man was saying, in a hypothetical world, you know, <laughs> maybe you <he> did. <laughs> hey. Hey. I mean, I, 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 I am here just for not just moderating or whatever. Yeah, but, that, but, 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 but also, we, I mean, we, we laughing about it, though, but those are also the experiences where you look at in hindsight that... As an older person, as a more adult person, you see motherfuckers <laughs> like <laughs> he, just oh, out I can, he just turned his camera off, seeing things as an adult. <laughs> hey Joe, hey Joe, you okay? Hey, hey. Yeah, I'm, what happened? <laughs> I'm trying to text my wife, man. Yeah, oh, no, man. sure you are. Sure you are. No, 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 no. That, that nigga trying to text <laughs> the, law, the, the number to the lawyer, nigga. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. Hey, Johnny, Johnny Conqueror, Johnny Conqueror did. You can't call him. <laughs> right, 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 right. But, no, but I, but I, I think oh, that. Just thinking about that. Go ahead. Go, no, go ahead, Joe. My bad. No, go I was going to say, um, just thinking about saying, uh, you know, like things you see as an adult, when you look back as things that happened as a child, you didn't really realize what was going on. I got, for me, I think I went to Catholic school from, um, preschool through high school and looking back especially back on like uh, uh like third grade through you know graduating from uh, middle school whatever yeah i used when i was in school priests used to come up to the classrooms and pull kids out of class all the time mm. well, i don't know and, where this is know, going they, yeah and and you know they say you know why uh i need to Talk, Cause he was all, all these guys were like ones that were altar boys, and they yeah. would always say, "Yeah, I need to bring so and so over to the you know church, talk about the, the altar boy schedule." I mean, this happened at least once a month to different yeah. you know kids, and now looking back, I'm just like, "That's suspect as hell," you know? Yeah. And you know, and now knowing everything that we know about priests and and and, and little boys. I mean, what else could be happening? I don't know. I don't know what else could it be. But just like I never understood it. In fact, when I was when I was when I was that age, well, I wasn't Catholic though, so I was jealous that I didn't get to go and leave class. Wow. Didn't go with the priest. That that's you, you know, know what though that's that's a straight up innocence right there though. To yeah, be honest. yeah. That, like that straight up innocence like that. Just you even saying that, like that's that's that displays. An innocent thought, though. You know what I mean? Because you didn't, you didn't know no better. No, no, I it didn't think it didn't, anything or, of it. Or it never like really registered. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But so. then, but then something did happen. Okay, 
like I was in the, you know, like I was also in the summer program at the, at the mm-hmm. same school. Yeah. And uh, one of our, our teachers came and got one. Well, this, this other kid, me and him, he said, I got these new books that we're going to have in the fall. And I want you guys to read through them with me and, you know, make sure that they're good and they're cool and all that. And so we were going up to his classroom and we were reading these books. And I mean, it was just something about it that just didn't. And I was like, I I was probably like 10 years old or something like that. Mm -hmm. It was just something I just didn't, I wasn't comfortable. You know, he didn't like touch me or anything, but he was just like, he'd be like right in my face, you know, and, and we weren't really doing anything, you know, just like, it just it was weird to me. So like the next day, he did this like for a week, and like the next week when he came to come get us, I was like, I don't want to go. You know, I'm cool on that. And he got pissed. I mean, yeah. he was hot. Yeah. And he tried to like make me go, but like the lady that was running the, the 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 summer school program was like, he might have to go if he don't want to. You can't make him go up there and do that. He's not in school right now. But the other kid went, and then that kid never came back in the fall. And then that teacher got fired before the fall started. So there's that. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, but I've been saying, but that's just those, I mean, that's an example. Like we, we look back and see how fucked up it is. And like, even though people say you, you know, for me and Joe at that moment, it's like you 17, 18 with no prior knowledge. You see it just as a joke. But now you look back at it with more knowledge and say it's fucked up. So that also you build that to your just to your your database to be able to say when you know some shit fucked up, when you know a nigga ain't right, when you know a woman ain't right, and that way you just being, yeah. yeah. I just like and that was just me having just my I had some kind of instinct that someone right there, like I said, he didn't really exactly do anything or say anything that let me notice something that he wasn't right. But I just knew this cat wasn't right, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's like that's like uh like my. Uh, I think I, I know I told you about it, Frank. My first deployment, when we had to see the sergeant major, and like ain't nothing. It's all it all became public. It's all part of the public <laughs> record. So I ain't no oh I'm gonna get arrested or something like that for bringing this shit to light. We had to bring uh, this sergeant major. He was in command of one of these uh, forward observation bases, and I was in Bosnia. And so, and like and so like the story. I didn't know all this shit, right? So I know this motherfucker was coming to our uh, clinic. I'm a behavioral health specialist. He's coming to our clinic to see our psychiatrist. And the whole time, he's I mean, like, he real friendly looking at me and shit. Like, you know, hey, talk, talking all this shit. And I'm like, and like, Frank, no, most sergeant majors ain't saying hi, saying, hey, what's up to no specialists. Like, fuck you. Especially, especially at the mental health clinic. Like, fuck you, whatever. I'm here doing what I got to do. Unless you're so, a female. Huh? Unless you're, unless you're, a, fe- unless you're unless, a pretty good looking. Unless, unless you're a female or you a male. Who likes to prey on yeah. younger younger male soldiers? Yeah. So I like I didn't think nothing of it. I thought you know he here he nervous whatever the fuck you know, nothing. So this story came about right this sergeant major. So what this motherfucker was doing was like he was taking like weaker soldiers in his unit right. So it'd be like soldiers who ain't passing the PT test. So I, so he come out you know what sergeant major gonna take these soldiers under his wing. <laughs> I'm gonna you know give him my private time blah blah blah. So what he was doing was, you know, have him come in the first time, talk to him, counsel him, verbal counseling. Okay, 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 this is your deficiency. Second time, have him come in maybe a week later. Like, you know, okay, well, show me your push-up form. And then, then that, that'd be like the, the the written counseling. Okay, you know, Sergeant Major, you're going to do this, this, and that. So the third time they come in, he'd be like, okay, hey, so we've been working on your push-ups. What Sergeant Major going to do is I'm going to lay on your back while you what? do push-ups. But no, but 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 here's the thing though. There is a partner assisted push up in the military. So it's like I'm a I'm a I'm a add additional resistance so you can do to your push up. At that point in like time face down on you? Yeah. It's a partner assisted push up. Mm-hmm. It's still all it's still all mm-hmm. good, right? Okay. At this point, I know it's only creepy because you know it's cre- you, you only know it's creepy because it's coming up in this context. So at this point in time, it, at this point in time it's still all good. So that probably gone for about two, three weeks. Fourth or fifth week, fourth or fifth week, this motherfucker calling me in. All right, you're doing well. We're gonna do some more uh, partner assisted push-ups. So now this motherfucker lay down, and when you lay down on top of you, now he reaching around trying to jack you off. Oh, wow. And what he was telling these motherfuckers was, this is the sergeant major push-up. Wow. You know what I'm saying? You talking about? You talking about 18? 
19, 20-year-old, yeah. most of 18, 19, was all prime. Yeah. 18, and I'm sure he's, he's, picking, he's picking the ones he think are vulnerable. So, so you're picking the ones who are vulnerable. And, like, and there, is a, there is a correlation, I'm sure, that can be found for, like, people who are failing PT tests. Confidence levels, all that shit like that. Hold up, people now, hold, hold up, hold people, up. Unit, people, you know, they call them shit bags and shit like that. So we ain't gonna believe them no way. Cause for some odd reason, the military thinks if you pass a PT test, you smart and you tr- and you are a trustworthy motherfucker for some odd reason. I, I don't know why these two things go hand in hand, but in the military, mm-hmm. it does. So he was the definitely he he wasn't he wasn't calling niggas who was getting three hundred on their PT tests. He was calling like the weakest people, the people who like. Uh, platoon sergeants and squadies want to get rid of anyway because they're bringing their numbers right. down into his office to prey upon. Mm. So, like, yeah, yeah, I mean, and like, it's shit, this shit, like, but it, it, it goes into the conversation where we, you know, we went from, from, from movie stars, we went from like what you talking about, me and Joe talking about, motherfuckers like in college, like, this shit is just prevalent throughout society, throughout all professions, throughout all age groups, races, sexes. It's just, it's, and the shit's just crazy. And I'm glad motherfuckers being called to the carpet. Right. Bottom yeah. line, that's it. Yeah, yeah, but like, even going, even like, I guess piggybacking on, on Winston and Rogers stuff. Like, so like, so I was in the military too, and like, I'm a chubby, I'm a chubby nigga right now, right? But like, I was like really, hey, really hey, fit. Yeah, that cowboy, yeah, that cowboy hat on though with no shirt yeah. on. Oh, I, the, I get it, though. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just got I, I just got fat when I got out, you know what I mean? But I, I was a borderline, what they call, I wasn't a borderline soldier as far as, like, aptitude. I, it was just basically, you know, I mean, I'm Hispanic, though. My hips are wider than, than, and I got chicken legs, you know what I'm saying? So, like, when you measure me, you say, my, my you hips you are... You think you thick? See, see, there's that, see, there's that Louis C.K. shit, though. That's fine. You know, right. Right? You know what I'm saying? That's what we just talked about that shit. Just think of Joe listening to the camera so much. <laughs> but anyway, but like you, I, I think the clinical term is uh, big bonded. I, I'm, I, ain't never, I, ain't never, I ain't never, I ain't never seen no big skeleton, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, nah, but like, so like you're right though, man. I, I feel you because look, <clears throat> like I was a borderline soldier. So like I was always like, you know, my body fat was always like, you know, passing or you know, it was like maybe like a cheeseburger away from. Failing a PT test or or the or whatever the fuck, not the actual activity. It was like the body fat. I mean, but, yeah, how much? Your BMI or whatever. Yeah. Right, but like, but like, if it was like a female soldier though, and she was attractive, and that was the key word. If she was an attractive soldier, what whether she was shitty at her job or not, and and whoever was in charge, you was you know you always have a masculine person that's in charge and shit, like, they always took him under the wing and shit, and you saw it, man, and it was, like, blatant mm. out in, in the open, but but out in, 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 in where everybody could see it, it was, you could tell by the by the actions that, that, that they were taking, it was uh, inappropriate, you know what I mean? And people stepped in or whatnot, but at the same time, even though they stepped in, the shit always continued behind closed doors, you know what I'm saying? So, like, whenever they went off post, people... I know of people... I knew of people that, like, left, like, on the weekend. They they left, like, you know, like... I was I was stationed at Fort Riley for a while. So, people would go to, like, Salina or Wichita, even Oklahoma City or Denver or, or Kansas City or St. Louis. They would go, they would go to... For, away for the weekend. Um, and then, so, so supposedly, people, sh- like, showed up or happened to be at the same spot. You know what I'm saying? And they spend the whole weekend there. I mean, this shit happens, you know what I mean? But, like, I mean, but but I guess to put it into context, like, what a, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Sergeant Majors or whatnot. So, basically, it's kind of like, like, for you, uh, you're, you're a teacher, right, uh, uh, Joe? So, like, yeah. so, and, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you don't feel this way, but, like, in, in con, as far as, like, authority is concerned, so like the vice principal, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. So like if 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 the vice, pr- I mean it, it depends. Like I mean we all have a moral compass too. So if if a vice principal tells you to do something that you you don't feel like it's morally right, the the correct the correct answer is gonna be like, hey, you know I don't feel it's right. I'm not gonna do this. But you know you have a a family that you have to take care of and all that, consider all that stuff. So you always be like, hey, you know what, I'm a, I'll am do this, but I don't like to do it. So a sorry major 
it, it's the equivalence of, I guess, in comparison to like a a, a, a mid-level supervisor, like like not not necessarily no. a CEO, not, not not necessarily a CEO, but somebody that has that's like a vice or whatever to the CEO that has influence in, in, in what can happen to you and in, in, in your career. The, the sergeant major is basically the vice principal of the school. Basically, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. You know, or 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 or, or the or the the, I guess like the equivalence of whatever that in whatever field everybody else is in. You know what I mean? Like, for me, it'll be my assistant director. If he told me some shit, I'd be like, nah, I'm not doing that because it doesn't feel right. Oh, your ass is fired. It's like, ah, oh, fuck, goddamn it. Uh, so that's kind of like the uh, so so when, and, and and you know we bring up age like 17, 18, 19 year old soldiers, but we forget that we do have. Um, like mid 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 uh, mid career NCOs or mid career enlisted members that are E five E sixes that are sergeant major. It's it's like so you have an E five E six structure. A sergeant major is an E nine. They can like influence have a lot of impact into what happens to your career. So an E five E six that's trying to make an E seven can potentially fall can be a, can be preyed upon. Not necessarily. God damn, you made this complicated, nigga. Oh. I'm just saying, like, let's let's. let's oh. Well, oh. I'm, about, I'm about to no. pull out. I'm about to pull out. No, but but in other words, let's not e just put it. To, let, let's not just like put it towards like the younger soldiers. Yeah, they're the the the, the, minor, the majority of them, but people that are mid mid level career, mid career into the middle careers, they're also vulnerable too, though, because they also have a lot to lose and a lot to gain too. So it, right. it, it, it's not necessarily right. it's not an age. It's, in other words, it's not just the age thing. So, I mean, I it's see I see that happen all the still, time. So it's still the age thing because most because now in today's world, most of your E five because of the rank structure are going to be twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. So it's still the age thing. Sergeant majors tend to be you talking about anywhere from the youngest thirty five, but most are forty plus. Yeah. So it's still it's true. still an age it's still an age thing. Oh no, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying like let's not just limit it to just the age group. You know, it's it's it also no, depends, it also depends on like but no. But I'm saying for how you want your career to go. Simply, to, you know I mean? simply for this for this profile, of the sergeant major, and also I, I also failed to to, <laughs> to to say that uh, he, he was a reserve sergeant. He was a not, not reserve national guard sergeant major in Indianapolis. He was a highway patrolman who also had some other. Um, <clears throat> Complaints filed against him as far as like people in his care. There was like two or three complaints where people who male uh, citizens who were not in his care, male citizens who were held in custody, said that he had fondled them in the back of police cars and other shit like that. Now, I mean, it was a very, I mean, I won't get into the email that his wife sent because that's not part of the public record. But it, the, the email basically from his wife was like, yeah, I can't deal with this shit anymore. This is like the fourth or fifth time that this has come up, and you told me that it's, this is just people trying to come out to get you. So, like, uh, so James, I, oh, he's not listening anymore. Nigga, you about to get the you about to, about to get a POV porn, nigga? No, hey, what? <laughs> 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 he's he's me your inner Why CK. Wow, wow. Dog, we're going to call this the, your inner CK, dog. Like, damn, dog. <laughs> Yes. Like I'm, I feel uncomfortable, dog. No. Like, like no, I, no. I don't know how to block this stuff. You <laughs> about, about, about to hit that motherfucker, that that Wesley Pipes. Make it, make it nasty. <laughs> make it nasty. The uh, R. Kelly over here with the fucking pissing shower, dog. The go- that was what? <laughs> hey, nigga, this, this angle. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. There we go. Oh, nigga. Okay, it's golden <laughs> dark. Uh, I mean, damn you. <laughs> I wish the view. I wish. Yeah, that nigga. Is, he's, <laughs> nah. He got jack. He said he got jack off, nigga. He got. He gone. Wait, what? He's coming back. What the fuck? Yeah. He's coming back um, on though. Man, I'm, I don't know what I did. Okay, now I'm back. My <laughs> fault, y'all. It. It was. Awkward moment brought to you by James. Yeah, Jefferson. man, I didn't really know how to turn it off and turn it back on, and I just had to go. So, so like, uh, hey, so, 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 uh, Jafari. Yeah. So, what? Uh, so, how does that make you feel now as an adult? Then, when you see another kid or or, or potential, because I'm gonna tell you right now. Look, ever since I I had my son, I've been 
I've been extra sensitive to a lot of shit, bro. Like I ain't even gonna front. I I even went to the extent I know me I know I told Winston this shit. It's been two years that I cut my cable off, bro. I mean, there's ways that I I can I, I can watch TV and shit like that, but I cut cable because I didn't want to be I didn't want I wanted to tune out all news and all that shit because if I got it on Twitter, it's because I searched it. If I got it off on Facebook, mm. it's because my wife told me I'm not on Facebook. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If I found if something happened locally. It's because I heard it at work or somebody or my wife told me or some shit. And a lot of during that time you you had a lot of kids that were staying in, that were left in in the backseat of their cars and it was hot as fuck in Kansas City and in Topeka. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right, right. So yeah. like I couldn't I came I I became real sensitive to that shit, bro. So like oh, I am like yeah, and, I'm and, like and any kids any kid stories yeah. or news. Oh, like if I see man, just in fact just yesterday, uh, you know, because it was kind of cold and windy yesterday, and I saw this kid, like this 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 guy with his kid, and he had like a short sleeves on and no hat, no coat, and I really wanted to go over and be like, man, put a coat and a hat on this kid, man. What the hell is wrong with you? You know, and that's just basic stuff. But you know, <laughs> I pay attention to stuff like that. You know, I just I don't like when people don't treat because kids ain't they ain't they ain't got nobody to protect them except for whoever's watching over them. You know. So if we as the adults ain't looking out for them, who will? Yep. And it's not always the parent that has to look out for them. You might just have some kid that, you know, is about to run out into the street. You might have to grab them, you know, to keep them from getting hit by a car, you know. I've had to do that before, you know. So I just think, I just try to look out for kids when I can, you know. Yeah, I mean, I know, I like, my kid goes to a, a Lutheran daycare when we're not religious. And I, I told him, I'm like, yo, me and my wife, we don't believe in this stuff. Um, is that gonna disqualify us from this stuff? He, they're like, no, nah, as long as you pay. And we're like, all right. But like, do we have to do? Because like, we went to a Catholic one. Because like, you know, my family's Catholic, but I don't believe in that crap. I mean, no, no offense or nothing. I mean, I don't believe in that thing. But like, but I told him I'm like, because I know the Catholic uh, daycare or the Catholic church, they they want you to be they want you to be part and, and participate and give your time outside of the daycare time and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I, I told, I was straight up to the, 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 the daycare that we go to now. I was like, hey, you know, do we have to give them any extra time, you know, whatever. They're like, nah, as long as you pay, you're good, you know, whatever. We'll take care of your kid. But you're right, though. Like, I asked my kid, I asked my kid, like, I, you know, hey, he's two, so he's not going to kind of, I'm, I'm hoping that he doesn't, I'm hoping that, that, that if he, Whatever makes him uncomfortable, I hope he's able to tell mom and daddy about that, or any any adult. Period. Yeah, like that's. I mean, I'm telling you, that's like the big fear, is that your kid won't be able to, will be afraid to tell you if somebody does do something to him. Well, no, I, I, I told you, like, uh, it wasn't the potty train was. It was the Black African episode. So I think it was the last episode to, before this one. I was telling Winston, bro, like. Or Roger, my bad, or or the Casey Stark. I don't, I don't, I don't care. Yeah, so I was telling him like I woke Nigga, up. You, to, I, you, I, you are the worst co-defendant I ever known. <laughs> you may fold under questioning. I'm drunk. I'm drunk. There, there, there is Great Goose Vodka up to here. Nigga, you had nigga you want no Great Goose Vodka up in there. You oh, the no, same no. nigga that's trying. No, no. Hey, hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Go back to one of the earlier motherfucking episodes. See he the same. See, I can never say. get a fucking point or story across because this motherfucker always interrupting me. Go yeah, ahead, but you though. talk for hours on end without getting to the point, so that's the other problem. So, so yeah, y'all remember? Y'all remember them smearing off little, the little smearing off uh, the little electric blue joints. The little fruit, the mountain liquor joints. The Gatorade one. The, they came in the Gatorade bottle. Don't want to say out there. Those smearing off. Like, they got, electric, they got a, a mandarin orange, an electric blue one. This yeah. nigga really thought there was smearing off vodka in that motherfucker. No. <laughs> I still, th- I still yeah. think there's vodka in it. No. So, yeah. It's mountain liquor, nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you going to believe everything like, they tell you, now? So, when this nigga tell you he been drinking Ciroc all day, you might want to question it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> that, that's the point. That's the it's point a, of that story. A, it's a malt beverage. Anyway, go, go. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wanted to. Anyway, so, like, so, like, I was I saying. No like, idea fight, fight. Right yeah, so, like, uh, I, I went to, uh, so I showed up to, I pulled up at, a, at our daycare for the Halloween parade costume shit, right? And so, just to recap it, I was like, 
I was like, you know, I, you know, our day, our daycare center, they have like a big ass basement. You know what I'm saying? So like, if the kids, if it's raining outside, the kids can go downstairs and do their movement activities. So I was expecting the kids to be paraded down in the basement with their with their costumes, but when we and you know over here in Topeka, I think in Kansas City too, it like it, it, there was snow. It like fucking, I mean it wasn't sticking, but it snowed. You know, like the whole Halloween morning or afternoon. So we get that we get to the daycare, we pull up, we see we see all the kids being paraded in the, in the three year old in the three year old playground and shit, and my son. Has his little beanie hat and a little tail, dinosaur tail, and he has short sleeves on. I was like, "What the fuck?" You know what I'm mm. saying? And I'm like, and like my instincts kicked in. I went straight to his room, got his coat, and and I and I, and I, I you know, I intervened. I fucking interrupted the whole parade, and I went in and put his coat on. And he was looking at me like he can't really communicate talk right now but he he was looking at me like right. that i don't know i don't know like what happened and i was like son i i all these fucking grown ass people with fucking north face jackets and and bubble coats and columbia boots and columbia coats on but yeah you here with a t-shirt now so i i can't explain that to you you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so like you know but but i i've been really really extra sensitive about with kids shit man like I don't, I, I don't, I can't recall something happening in my, in my early age or whatever, but seeing, talking to you, to people like you, talking to people like Winston, talking to people like my, 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 my brother and everybody, seeing these kind of these st- kind of stories pop up, kind of put, at least kind of helped me put, put shit in, 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 in my, in my, in my, in my mind to kind of be aware or be cautious of it. You know what I mean? Like. Because to be honest, if people don't talk about stuff like that, and, and and I mentioned this before in another podcast, because something doesn't happen, it may not be in my in, in my mind at that time, and and and, and 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 conversations like how you were just mentioning where you, when your incident, good thing it wasn't any more than what it was, but just that incident that you mentioned, like it's gonna prepare me and people that are listening to this podcast going forward. To hey, to kind of think about that, not necessarily just for my my kid, their kid, or their or, or, or their relatives, but like any any kid out there that they see, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, and I, I think another thing we got to do is you got to you got to educate your kids about what's what's okay and what's not, you know, from an adult or anybody, you know, what's what's what what's a good touch, bad touch. I tell you one thing. You know, people make kids do that I don't really believe in. It's like making kids give hugs and kisses and all that. I don't think that should be forced upon any kid. If a kid don't want to hug you and kiss no. you at that time, uh, then you uh, should, uh, they should be forced to. No, 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 no. No, at my, at my kids' daycare, they was kissing my kids on the mouth. Like, oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> what? The- okay. What? I, I, I said, hey, 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 baby, you might need to go talk to them before I do. <laughs> that shit right. is off the chain. Okay. Like, okay. nah, that, that's got to stop. Yeah. Okay. Right. We don't know. We don't know what uh-huh. bitch you've been sucking on all day. Look at dog. Break bread with your brothers whenever possible.